Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on the From the Farmyard podcast. And today, um, I'm going to be doing another garden tour. It's already been a month since the last garden tour, which is absolutely crazy. But um, a lot of things have happened. There's a lot of new growth, a lot of new development um, in the gardens that I showed you last time. If you didn't watch last time's uh, last month's garden tour, uh, go check that out. I'll have it linked at the end of this video along with... Um, Zach's garden tours as well. We do those every month that we all can just see the development of our garden, how it's going, and get an understanding of like what we're doing in our spaces whenever we talk about those on the podcast. So let's get into the first garden and show you what's happening. So out here in the main garden, it's been a minute since I've weeded. Need to get out here and do that probably pretty soon but you know what we we get busy haven't had a chance yet so I'm gonna show you everything that's going on right now sugar daddy snap peas they're getting taller um, you can see there's some flowers on there as well uh, last time I think they were only like up to here or so but now they're they've climbed the whole trellis uh, hopefully they spread out if not I'll just add another thing on top but sugar daddy snap peas are looking good um, and then over here, I grabbed some transplant starts that have just, like, popped up in the garden from last year. And, um, I just kind of added them just because I didn't want them growing in the areas that I had for other plants. And I didn't want it to be too crowded, so I just moved it to this open area. And they're doing pretty good. I have no clue what tomatoes they are, but, I mean, they're looking pretty big. Next up, we have these cucumelons. I don't know if these were here last time I did the garden tour. Um, lots of lots of weeds, but I'm half afraid to pull weeds because, like this year, this is a cucumber. This is a cucumelon, and um, so is this. And I've been hesitating on weeding because I don't know what's a cucumber and what's not. Like that's that's a weed, and that's a weed. But these are these are cucumbers. These are cucumbers, and if you don't know what a cucumelon is, it's basically a small, like a, like, it looks like a watermelon, but it's small enough where it's a cucumber, so it's like a cucumelon. Another name they go by is the Mexican sour gherkin, so I'm pumped to see how these do. They're still small right now. Um, I planted them later than I would have preferred, but you know what? I didn't know if I would have room for them, so... They got a late start, but I'm sure they'll produce before the season's over. Next, we have our asparagus yard-long beans. Um, sorry, if I'm just like pulling weeds randomly, it's because I'm just now getting in here and seeing that this needs done. Um, so the yard-long beans, you can see they're they're getting taller. Um, they're starting to starting to reach where they can probably climb soon. Um, but they look, they look really good. I'm seeing a lot of development from these. A lot better than they did last year. Like, last year I planted these. These didn't even germinate, these seeds. Um, so, I'm definitely happy with how they're looking so far. And hopefully we're able to get a harvest out of them. Also, some sugar snap peas at the end. You can see they're looking the same as the other ones. And they have flowers on there as well. Um, but they're also looking quite beautiful peppers definitely need weeded um but in here you can see right here is right here's a pepper plant i want to say just like last time i think these are i think these are jalapenos um but don't quote me on that um there's another one right there right there and right here and there's also four in there, you can see them. Four in here, and then four in there. So the peppers are still small, but I think we got a late start on them. So hopefully, hopefully they grow big enough and we're able to see some peppers from them. Now the cucumbers I'm actually quite pleased with. Um, you can see, I mean these suckers are still rather small. Like this is just height wise, but obviously they're laying flat. But like, look at this already we have flowers just developing on them and they're not even like that big yet we have to get a trellis out here for them um but you can see the 
flowers, cucumbers in no time. These are uh, the double yield, um, and they have flowers. Also a nasturtium that is looking lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, another uh, double yield flower right in there. You can see it. And um, also another nasturtium. And then we move to the Armenian cucumbers, and there's only, looks like only two of these survived. Another nasturtium, and this Armenian. Now this here is a, um, this, this needed to be caged, and I just forgot, so now it's, you can see it's kind of developing to the fact that it fell over, and now it's reaching, which is kind of neat. Um, but this is a blueberry tomato I think my dad said I don't know I'm concerned a little bit because I'm noticing a couple little spots on the stem I don't know if y'all can see that but there's like a couple spots and my concern is early blight um, which if I'm correct early blight is what wipes out majority of your crops it's not late blight late blights manageable but early blight is what really kills them so gonna have to monitor that um but yeah random tomato we just picked up from somewhere i guess and there it is next we have our muncher cucumbers and you can see these as well are starting to flower along with the nasturtium uh, this nasturtium is absolutely i mean look at that it's huge the leaves are the leaves are massive um, but the muncher cucumbers are starting to flower. They're looking lovely, and the growth is definitely there. A couple tomato starts mixed in between, just because I wanted to see what would happen to them. Um, but yeah, nasturtium and muncher cucumbers are looking very nice. Uh, these are carrots right here, and with carrots, because they're so tiny, you gotta you gotta wait till they come up before you can weed. So, you know, middle of the rows definitely need weeded out. But there are carrots here and you can see them starting to come up through the through the weeds. So hopefully we can get some carrots as well. So back here I planted just for fun because I literally had the extra space and I didn't know what else to put, so I just planted some random things. Uh these are dragon tongue bush beans that I got from Zach and some sunflowers mixed in there as well just because why not? It's gardening. Have fun with it, you know? Just plant whatever and see what comes up. So Zach sent these to me a while ago and um, whenever I planted them the germination rate was awesome and every single bean came up which is crazy cool. So let me show you what's happening in this bed. So these are the dragon tongue bush beans. Uh, these obviously don't trellis because they're bush. It's in the name. Um, but there you can see all the beans over here. And then over there. And then right down here are my sunflowers. I think these are mammoth. I'm not totally sure. But only three came up out of the row that I planted. So they'll add some color to the garden. Um, and I'm excited to see them, you know, go crazy up high and get nice and big. But I'm intrigued to see what the bush beans look like because I've never grown these before. So we'll see what happens. So far, so good. So that's the one half of the garden. Now let's move on to the second half, which is basically all tomatoes and some beans at the end. But I just want to show you the development and how big these suckers are getting. So, because I want to see, for future reference, I want to see comparison of height. This is, uh, these are cherry tomatoes all in the front. And you can see they're definitely a lot bigger than they were before. They still, still look awesome. You can see a couple. Ooh, you can see some flowers happening. So that's always a good sign. It shows that they're definitely growing. Development is there. Plants are looking beautiful. I'm really pleased with how the tomatoes have turned out this year. 
I feel like they're just doing absolutely marvelous in this uh, space. But um, then over here, we have... Uh, there's so many tomatoes. Um, these are red zebra. Um, you can see they're getting tall as well. Also flowering. Um, uh, this one's really tall. Um, probably the next video that we do, these will all be caged because right now they're pretty much there to the point where I probably should cage these. Um, but I just haven't, haven't gotten to it yet. Look at this brandy wine. It's going crazy. Black crim and a whole bunch of Roma. They all look awesome. They're getting big. They're starting to flower. And it's really nice to see how well they're doing in this space and how the development has went from a tiny seed to a tiny plant and now to this. And it'll only get better from here. Soon we'll have fruits and that'll be fun to see. Lastly for the garden, uh, we have these bush beans, provider bush beans, um, and they look you know, they look good. First bean flower. That's 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 definitely good to see. Means we'll have uh, beans soon. Look at that. Beautiful. At the time of filming this, my garden doesn't look awesome. Um, I've been keeping up really well with the weeds, but um, of course when I go to film, I haven't weeded, which I think that's what it was last time. So that's, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, uh, I typically do weed pretty regularly, um, but of course, whenever I go to film, I forget that I haven't weeded, and yeah, so, sorry about the mess. Um, it's not that bad, but it definitely, it could be better, so let's head into this garden. Let me show you what's happening. There's a couple areas here that were bare last time, things that didn't come up, so in place of that, I have planted some Cosmos. Um, you can see they're coming up just fine. Cosmo, I think these are uh, coxcomb and these are all the sweet peas that I planted and these are looking, these look really good. They did phenomenal. Um, uh, but also the morning glories are trellising, which is so neat to see. Um, I'm really excited for it to overtake the arch and just go crazy. And then obviously more morning glories over here, but the zinnias, oh my gosh. Do y'all see this? Look how tall that is. I mean, this is gonna be crazy. The whole row is absolutely full of zinnias. So hopefully by next time, 4th of July, y'all, people were putting fireworks off at the middle of the day. God. So I'm not seeing any flowers yet, but hopefully next time there will be some buds in there. Also another morning glory doing her thing. Absolutely trellising up that sucker. And they're looking good as well. These are all uh, dahlias. Um, and then right here we've got marigolds. Which I'm not a huge marigold person. In my opinion they stink. But I had the extra spot and figured, why not? So marigolds, dahlias, different types of dahlias. Um, and then also morning glories at the edge. These, I think these are cosmos. I don't totally remember what I planted in this row, but I know things are coming up. Things are happening, people. I don't remember what I planted, but things are happening. So I think these two rows are definitely Cosmos because I remember planting them. These three rows might be Delphinium or Lupin or Snapdragon. So everything this way up, Delphinium, Lupin or Snapdragons. I don't really know. We'll see what happens when the flowers start to bloom because I totally do not remember. So. This row is kind of all, we'll, we'll see what happens. All well, that sun just came out and it's like really stinking humid. 
starting to sweat. Um, but let's blow this out of the water because it's stinking hot. <laughs> These are ground cherries. They were in separate pots, but I just moved them out to the main bed. Uh, these are forget-me-nots and baby's breath. And this is something that I do not know how to pronounce, but I know it's something. There's something there, but I don't remember. But forget-me-nots and baby's breath. So we'll see what happens, but the, I think these are forget-me-nots. They're coming up rather nicely. In this last bed, there was nothing here last video, um, but I literally took a bunch of seeds, mixed them in a container, and just chucked it over the whole thing. So you can see all the little greens popping up. These are, these are flowers. Um, these are all flowers here. Maybe some weeds in between, but I'm not going to pick anything because I don't want to change told y'all it was hot. My phone actually overheated. It said I couldn't film anymore. Oh my gosh. Let's finish this garden tour. <laughs> I don't know what was filmed last, but yeah, this bed has a bunch of random things in it. Um, so I'm intrigued to see what pops up, but it's t just a bunch of random seeds that I planted, threw in a bucket, mixed together, and scattered across the whole bed. So hopefully we get some cool flowers from here. Sunflowers are also looking awesome. This is the tallest one we have. Um, I'd say about a little over two feet, maybe three feet tall. Um, some of these, obviously, they started later mm, because the original seed didn't pop up. So I had to replant a couple, but these are looking really nice. I don't know what seeds are what, what plants are what. I just basically put a bunch of sunflowers in the ground and whatever comes up comes up so we'll see what they are by the flower later on. Lastly we have our morning glory trellis. You can see a couple plants have started to trellis um, but if we go around here you can see a lot of that but you see that guys? First flower of the garden. We have some morning glories coming up. I think these are the party dress. I think that's what they're called. Party dress morning glories. Um, I have one more over here. Oh, this one looks so much cooler. Oh, actually, it's ripped. Never mind. Still looks pretty cool though for what it's worth. Lots of really neat uh, development going on in this garden, but the flowers are the coolest. Last thing I want to cover is the squash bed. Um, this has gotten huge. You can see they're definitely a lot bigger than last time. Um, so just going to cover this really quickly and show you what's happening in here. So you can see they've already kind of overtaken the pathways. Uh, Tromboncino, getting big. Zucchini, already flowering. The flowers don't look awesome. Oh, there's a good flower. Zucchini are looking cool. Tromboncino getting big. Butternut squash, still on the small side. Pumpkins are looking good and spaghetti squash are also looking very nice. Um, over here, I don't know if I put this in the last video, but I planted some squash seeds. In these last two beds, there were a mixed gourd, a gourd mix variety. So I just basically took six seeds and planted them. Only five came up. But, I mean, that's still pretty good for germination. So we'll see what these are. I don't know yet. But the watermelon are also starting to go out. And they're looking really nice. So I think the squash bed is going to work really well back here and... I'm excited to see what kind of squash we get from these plants. So that's everything for today's uh, garden update. Uh, thank you guys for watching and for joining me here on another vlog. Uh, I hope that this inspires you to go and grow your own garden. And I'm so grateful that you all are here to follow along on our journey as we grow our farms and just 
thank you for being here and for all the support that you give on our videos. We're so grateful and uh, we hope you stick around for many more videos. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.